Have you ever been stuck in an emotional vortex? This is what it's like to be addicted. You know in your thinking brain that what you're doing is not what you want for your life. But something else takes over. You can't solve emotionally charged situations with reason. Let's talk about how it can be helped. Hi, I'm Mary Bourne, traditional naturopath, and I love sharing natural remedies with people for better health. July, I decided to talk about plants as teachers and helpers. And today, we are going to talk about how some emotional benefits of plants can help in many situations. Emotionally charged events can be anger out of control, or it can be an addiction of sorts. These events are usually self-destructive and they ripple through families and friends, communities. Sometimes these emotions are due to fear. An expression of fear is often anger. It isn't always anger. It can also be anxiety. Did you ever lose a child? Maybe a pet, couldn't find them, how scary it was. Years ago when my boys were little, I remember a time that we were in Sears and Brian was hanging on to my shirt and I had Michael in my arms and Bruce had gone off to look at something briefly and I was looking at something and all of a sudden I realized there was no more tug on my shirt. And I looked down and I looked around and there was no Brian. And I shouted his name and Bruce heard me call. And we frantically looked around everywhere. And it was the longest 15 minutes in my lifetime. And we found him in the toy department and we surmised that somebody had coaxed him into the department. He was very close to the exit. And in that brief moment, I realized within seconds, he could have been gone from my life. I still, to this day, have extreme empathy for anybody who loses a child. It was during the Christmas season, and during that time, there was a lot of children being kidnapped and then resold. It was a very scary time. I was shaking, crying. I upset Brian because he didn't know what he had done. And so we all sat down and hugged each other and talked about it, how I felt, how we all felt, and how important it was for him to stay with me, not get distracted. And at that time, I didn't know about distress remedy. I wish I had. It would have been very beneficial because to this day, almost 50 years later, I can feel that fear still. Flower essences help us through vibrations. Vibrations are negative and positive energy flowing, just like a light. And that's what creates us as being alive. And plants have vibrations, words have vibrations. And so <clears throat> we're gonna to talk today about how Edward Bach discovered the beautiful gift of flowers and their vibrations. Hi, Kirk. So before I go talk about the bouquet of flowers and distress remedy, I want to briefly talk about Mullen. I highlighted Mullen in my herbaligram, which is delivered to 600 email uh, addresses every Monday. And if you'd like to be part of that, you can email me, drmary at bornforhealth.com and uh, ask for the free e-newsletter and I'll be happy to send it to you. I urge you to check, check out this uh, amazing herb. Uh, some of you may have seen it grow. It's a very stately, tall, beautiful uh, plant. It has a stalk with little yellow flowers all around it. 
and actually the first year a rosette forms. It's the second year that the stalk comes up. And there are many uses for it, so I urge you to go on my website and check out the newsletter for, from yesterday. And I learned recently that it can be beneficial for animals. Uh, any itching that animals have and you can um, swab it into their ear and it can um, go into it. I'll post the recipe. It involves witch hazel and the uh, mullein leaves. So the bouquet of flowers and distress remedy. Let's begin with Arnica. Arnica, you can see this beautiful herb bright yellow, daisy-like. It makes me happy just looking at it. And uh, it is well known in homeopathic medicine for pain. And in the flower essences, it deals with both emotional pain and physical pain. Now, a lot of times emotional pain can cause physical pain. So it again is vibration. So it can be used alongside of drugs. When you use pain medication, drug pain medication, it numbs you and you can't think properly. So taking distress remedy will help you deal with this, this pain, this emotional trauma and still allow you to have clear thinking. So, and you know, distress remedy can be used on children and pets, pregnant women, uh, people of all ages. We've put a few drops on the bottoms of an infant only two, year, two days old and seen results. So the baby was all tensed up and this shortly after putting the distress remedy on their uh, bottoms of their feet, they open up and relax. And so you can um, see the baby calming down. Uh, also, I like to use Roman chamomile. Diffusing Roman chamomile in the baby's room can cause the relaxation. It is antimicrobial, so it is uh, going to get rid of any harmful microbes that are lingering in the air. So the next flower we want to talk about in our bouquet is this beautiful Star of Bethlehem. And you can just see it looks like a star. It's just a uh, gorgeous uh, early spring. It comes up and it's low to the ground. And this essence has vibrations that help those who are uh, unable to cope and seemingly in unseemingly unbearable conditions. These people may be dealing with devastating grief from traumatic events. The whiteness of the flower hopes to helps to invoke a time of peace and innocence. This is a wonderful essence. For those who have been raped or coming back from war, then they're unable to cope with everyday life. I mean, they've been dealing in st such stressful times and then all of a sudden everything's normal. Well, it's not normal to them. Their whole life has been thrown off kilter. So if a person, it helps the person find the inner strength to put these events in perspective and they can move on and accept happier times. I hope you're enjoying what you're hearing uh, today and that you'll send me some hearts or emojis and comment, I'll respond. Uh, if you have something personal you want to discuss, you can email me, drmary at bornforhealth.com and I will find resources for you. Uh, remember, there are wonderful resources on my website where it says Herb Encyclopedia. So there are all the herbs listed. So Distress Remedy is there, Roman Chamomile is there, and you'll get some great information with a list of all the resources and papers that's been printed in. So the next herb in our bouquet of uh, distress remedy is rock rose. Now this, this is what rock rose looks like. It is um, a very 
yellow is very bright. It's very wonderful. Uh, and it has that golden center. And uh, it's, it's to bring brightness into the darkness. And this flower is great for people with extreme fear. So night terrors or uh, even daytime um, scaring uh, events. It promotes a sense of calm, composure, and control in times of emergency or disaster. It fosters inner peace and strength to deal with those traumatic events. This is a perfect remedy for those who are dealing with death, either those who are dying or those who are left behind who have to deal with all of the ramifications of that death. So sharing distress remedy during a time of death is wonderful because then people can remain calm and they can be composed and they can be in the moment. <clears throat> so I think distress remedy would be a perfect time for anybody who is in a doctor's office waiting for that diagnosis or if you're waiting to hear from a boss about a promotion. Any time where you're really anxious about things, this is a wonderful remedy. It can be taken every 10 minutes, just drops under the tongue, and then 10 minutes, you can hang on to it. You can, I have done that during a stressful event. I've hung on to the distress remedy, and even through hanging on to it, even though it would have been uncomfortable for me to be dropping it into my mouth, hanging on to it after I did drop it into my mouth, I could go on, be in the, group of people and still be calm and collected. It is wonderful the way it is so vibrational that it can go through the bottle even to help you. But of course it is better to have it in you or on you. You can put it in your on your skin, you can put it in uh, on your pulse points, you can put it behind your ears. It has a stickiness to it because it's glycerin based. I love it because it's not alcohol based and great for anybody. That's why children and pets can take it. So the next flower in our bouquet is one that you may grow in your garden. It's called Impatience, but this one is really quite different. If you look at it, this is the Impatient Glandiflura, and the, it kind of looks like foxglove, and it has that slipper-like look to it, almost like a, a mouth opening, and, um, <laughs> and it is. The, the expression of it is for those who are impatient. They want it now. They, they, uh, they go on and they can't sit still and they, they need the answer now and um, they're going, their brain is going a mile a minute and I think of a chihuahua <laughs> when, when I think of this a remedy as that little Mexican jumping bean <laughs> that can't be calmed down but and it barks at everything and you know, it's just like doo, 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 doo. <laughs> So this remedy can vibrationally support calmness and control and not allow you to jump to conclusions and make a wrong decision. Are you seeing where this remedy can help you in any way? <laughs> or maybe somebody in your family, a pet or maybe a neighbor's pet. <laughs> So this flower I have growing along my fence, and I, it's just about to end. Um, it's clematis, but this particular clematis is considered a summer clematis. It's actually called clematis vitalaba, vitalba. And uh, I have this one as well. And I've only had this maybe three years, and it's, taken over my grape area. It, <laughs> but when it's in bloom, it is the most sensuous, gorgeous scent, much like jasmine. It's It takes over, um, we have a circular drive and it's right there at the circular drive. And people get out of their car and they're like, what is that scent? <laughs> it's just so beautiful. But this particular clematis helps people that throw up this wall of resistance 
and um, they they cover their pain by putting this shell in front of them, and then they avoid life through binging. <clears throat> they may engage in uh, games or sex or eating or even sleeping. So Clematis helps this person embrace life and apply their talents. It promotes mental clarity, concentration, and the ability to fully engage with those around them. I know a few teens that could use this. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying today's class and that you share with others what you've learned. Remember, you can go more deeply into these herbs by going on Herb Encyclopedia on my website, bornforhealth.com, and uh, there's paragraphs about each of these beautiful flowers. I also post these classes on YouTube, so I know a lot of your friends don't do Facebook, and in that way you can send them a link to the video recording of this class. So perhaps I've encouraged you to look at plants a little bit differently. Um, yes, they smell good. Yes, they're wonderful as far as a decoration goes, but they have deeper meaning. Maybe the next time you'll look at a flower and you'll look at the color and the shape and how it is put together and where it was grown and what were the circumstances. Yes, the smell. <clears throat> but there are so many different aspects to flowers and we are learning more and more and we are understanding the science, not just the art of flowers. So we only have two more flowers to go in our bouquet of Distress Remedy. It's a full arrangement of blooms. So Cherry Plum is a gorgeous bloom. Let me show you that one. <clears throat> it looks very much like an apple blossom. It has very delicate pink flowers. I just love it. I imagine it smells wonderful. But it's for those who are in an extreme state of distress <clears throat> and are pain. They feel as if they cannot take it anymore. It's the two-year-old in a temper tantrum. It's the teen who's out of control. This is great for irrational behavior. Maybe even a senior who has just found out that they're going to leave their home and go to a, a facility for seniors. And they have all these memories attached to it. Maybe it's for the senior who has lost their memory and are grasping frantically for any thread of what they remember. So Cherry Plum, it's called Prunus Sarasifera. It helps a person regain composure, promotes mental strength with emotional balance and stability. It's like taking a deep breath. In fact, it can help you do just that. It allows one to go, get, let go of fear and have faith that they can make a right choice. So the final flower in our bouquet of Distress Remedy is red clover. Now I'm sure you've seen the little white ones in your grass or whatever and everybody's trying to get rid of them, but I look at them as God's beauty. <laughs> so I, <clears throat> this one is called Trifolium Pratense. And um, red clover has many medicinal uses. It's been used in cancer therapy, uh, heart problems, uh, all kinds of things. But in the emotional healing I do, it is used to calm hysteria. It is the fear driven, <clears throat> excuse me, by influence. And now we are influenced by media, more blood the better, the, the more uh, dramatic the better. I don't even watch the news anymore. They're all, it's so very, very negative. Um, I'm sure that if I need to know something, somebody's gonna tell me. It's ridiculous to worry about something you have absolutely no control over. Why would you do that? 
So when we're delivered, we're caught up in this mob hysteria, uh, we can't think properly. All of, all of our um, instincts are going to fight or flight, not thought. So help, distress remedy helps you calm down, get centered. What's the reasonable thing to do here? Because remember, if you're caught up in emotion, you are not reasonable. You cannot reason with people who are in hysterics. You have to allow them, calm down, take a deep breath, get in the moment, and get a sense of calm and clarity. I think you can see how this bouquet of flower essences can promote this sense of calm and clarity. And I feel everybody should have at least one or two of these distress remedies on hand because we never know when something is going to come up. Now, sometimes we are. You know, if you're going to a funeral, take some distress remedy and take it with you and maybe offer it to somebody who is just can't cope. Rudyard Kipling put it this way when he was advising his son, if you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too. I hope that you can relate to some of these emotions and you will think seriously about taking distress remedy. Please be sure to join me at Dr. Mary's Health to Home next Tuesday, 1030 Facebook Live, and share this information with others. Remember, we will discuss through the month of August some more plants and how they help us. If you want to contact me regarding a personal issue, it's Dr. Mary at Born for Health. Dot com and I will be sure to answer you. So here are your action steps. Go to my website and check out the information on Distress Remedy and see if there's something in that that you don't relate to. Check out some flowers. Look at the beauty around you and really get in touch with how they look, how they smell, how, what circumstances they were grown in and maybe taste them Share what you've learned. Recommend these videos to friends so that other people can find hope and not use drugs as an excuse. Keep focusing on gratitude. Be thankful for the people around you, the gifts of nature, the flower, and all the joy around you. Thank you for viewing. Until next week, this is Dr. Mary for the health of it.